Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kimball here. This video is for the week of November 18th. And believe it or not, we have this full week and only two days next week before our Thanksgiving break. So we have a lot to do this week. So we're going to crank through as much of this material as we can. First of all, for my seniors who are in my regular English class, let me focus on you for just a moment. You are going to be continuing with your thesis statements. That is um, the writing practice. I did open that up today. So this upcoming week, you will be practicing writing a thesis with a given prompt. We're going to continue with our Hamlet material. We're going back through that the second time. For some of you, it might be the third or fourth. Uh, what you are doing specifically is you are writing notes. You are writing some reflective writing through those reading response prompts. You are preparing for fishbowl conversations, and you're going to concentrate this week on Acts 2 through 4, and we'll hopefully get Act 5 completed early next week. For my senior applied class, you are also continuing with your thesis statement practice. Yours is also opened up this week, so you will continue to write a thesis statement with a given prompt this week. So we'll be guiding you through that this week. We're also gonna be doing a lot more reading this week and also releasing a little bit of that responsibility to you. Over this past weekend, you were supposed to read chapters 10 and 11. So we will start tomorrow with chapter 12. That's Monday, sorry, today's Sunday whenever I'm recording this. So whenever you guys start on Monday, we will start with chapter 12 and we will get through 13, 14, 15, and 16 this week and possibly 17 and 18 next weekend. So that's our goal. And for freshmen, you guys have received the videos that I've given you. Some of those videos are about the grammar definitions and a couple of those videos are specific to clauses and clauses are gonna be helping us understand what different sentence forms that we have, the simple compound complex, compound complex sentences. And in that process, throughout this week, we're going to learn how whenever we identify the verb, the subject, the predicate, how that's going to help us with some of our editing exercises that we'll be doing in our future also. Your literature is still, <clears throat> excuse me, Romeo and Juliet. You are also going through your text a second or third time, and we are going to concentrate on Acts 2 through 5 this week. You also are writing notes for each scene you are continuing with your reflective writing using some of those same response uh, prompts, and you're also preparing for fishbowls. And again, each of the reflective writing and fishbowl conversations, one per act is what you're doing. You're not worried about every scene, but one per act is that's um, that's what you're going to be concentrating on. So. Again, just for those classes dealing with Shakespeare, so again, the senior class and freshman class, you are writing summaries of every scene, so that's pretty intensive, and then your reading response and fishbowl preparation only deal with an act, so five total reading responses and five total fishbowl preparation documents is what you're going to be doing this week. That's really it. I mean, it sounds really simple, but there's a lot inside of each of those assignments. For those of you who need to get a hold of me, parents, I am requesting that you try to get, contact me through email first and then through remind messages. I still, whenever you get these messages, you will have the remind codes on the bottom of the message that's going to go through Skyward. So you can absolutely sign up for that or, or be a part of that program. And then we also have the Skyward messaging system, which is basically going through my email. So get a hold of me if you need me. Otherwise, that's really it for this week. Let's have a fantastic week. I'll talk to you later.